Hi everyone, it's Ryan Hallett here, the head of support at MyPT Hub. Um, I'm just going to do a quick video just to show you um, all about the calendar and events and how it is that you can create um, events that you can put in your calendar, whether that's linked with your live workouts, whether that's a bootcamp class you're running, or maybe it's just a one-to-one -one booking that you want to make with your client. Um, so firstly, what I'll do is I'll go straight into it. And if we get the nine dots in the top right-hand corner, we want to go to the events page. So the first thing that you can do um, is you want to create your event. And I'll show you one that I've also created here. So if we go create event, I might call this boot camp. And you go create. What this then does, it takes you into this particular area. And what you do is you just go through and fill out the information. So how long does this boot camp usually last? So let's say 45 minutes. Um, 45 minutes how many spaces are available so how many people can book into this boot camp class so if you've got a maximum capacity of 10 we will leave it as that that's fine but let's say for instance you wanted loads of people to book into it let's go, increase that to 50 you then have the event color there'll be a little pop-up box that comes up um, and you can then choose the color of what it is that you want your clients to see when they go to your calendar you then have a waiting list so let's say for instance 50 people do book into my event um, my bootcamp class that I'm going to put in maybe on a Saturday morning. Anyone that books in after that is full will go onto the waiting list so that anyone that pulls out will then go um, will be sent an email. So all the people on the waiting list will be sent an email when someone drops out and it's just done on a first come first serve basis. So it will say there's an event space available, um, click here to book in and they can log into the account and they can book into the event. So they'll go on the waiting list, uh, but you can turn that off. You don't have to have a waiting list if you don't want to. You then have option, is the event free? So if you create the event um, and you want people to just be able to book into it, there's no um, cost involved. It's just you want them to be able to book in and attend whenever they like, then make it free. That would be nice and easy for them. Alternatively, you can put credits in. So I personally, you normally match it up to the credit cost or the price of it. So let's say, for instance, you charge £10 or $10 for people to be able to book into your events. I would normally just match it up with the same. So they need 10 credits. So the best way I can ever explain this to anyone is that when you go to a fun fair and you buy tokens and use those tokens to go on the ride, it works in the exact same way. So people will buy credits from you within the packages area. So you can watch one of my other videos I've created to how you can create a pa credit package. Um, but once they've bought those from you, they can then book in. So I'm going to say clients will need 10 credits to be able to obtain and uh, go to this particular event. This another one that I've created as well is live home workouts. So these are my two templates because I want to firstly do some live home workouts with everyone so people can join in at home via Zoom, Google Hangouts, whatever that might be. But I can also create boot camp. But you can create as many different ones here as you want. You might want to do PT sessions, you might want to do phone calls, uh, consultations, you might want to do spin classes. You can create as many different events as you want. So once you've created all these, you simply just go into your calendar. And you can see here we're on the 13th. What we want to do is we want to go book activity. So I want to book one of these activities in. So I'm going to click the little icon here saying you use event template. I'm going to go boot camp. I'm going to be the attending trainer so all of my clients can book in. I can put a location in if I wanted to, um, which will probably be relevant. Um, I can put a date in. So I'm going to put this as, let's go Saturday um, at 7 a.m. and I'm going to put this in as a recurring weekly appointment. So now um, I can put an end date as well actually. So let's put this as maybe the end of May. So once I go book activity, um, you can see here it will then go on every Saturday in May and people will be able to go into the calendar and book into my event providing they have enough credits. However, Live integration, live workout integration is something that we've added in recent in recent months um, as it obviously is growing quite a lot at the moment, especially in these tough times. Um, I'm not sure when you're watching this video, but I mean, maybe potentially a few months ago when we're all stuck at home. But I'll show you how it is that we can do that as well. So if we go book activity, we can go event template. So I'm going to use this live workout, live home workout I've created. I'm still going to be the attending trainer. I'm not going to put a location because I'm going to be at home. We then go to the date. So I'm going to put this as every Friday at 7. Uh, let's do a little bit later on. Let's do a 9 a.m. 
is it a recurring? So yes, I'm going to set this up as weekly again, and I'm going to put an end date, which is going to be the, let's do the end of May again. So we'll do the 29th, so keep it all in May. This time, what you can do is you can put your Zoom link in here. Double end, lovely. So put your Zoom link in here. So if you're doing it as a recurring, more than likely it'll be the same link. So that when clients book into it, they, they only once they book into it, they can then access this link. You can then put the password in here, because especially on Zoom, I mean, this doesn't have to be on Zoom. This can be on anything you want. It can be on Google Hangouts, um, whatever, whatever it needs to be a URL that they can click on and it will take them to that page. And I can show you from a client's perspective how it looks. But you put the Zoom link in here or maybe Google Hangout link or whatever that might be. You put the password in here and you go book activity. So now that that activity has been booked in, you can click on this and this is what the clients will see. Just this snippet over here. Once they've booked in, they can then click this open stream button and it will take them to the um, Zoom workout that you're going to be doing or whatever you're hosting. So that is how that you can book these events into your calendar. And like just going back to this calendar, this is how you can really fill it up. Um, you can obviously put your live home work workouts in here, your boot camp classes. But as I said, when you go back to the gyms and you can start managing everything yourself, you might want to put spin classes or whatever it is that you want to do. However, if you go book activity and you do not choose an event template, you can put a booking name in. So you can go PT session, um, maybe with Sam Smith, your client. You can put a location in. You can put a date. So we might say, okay, well, let's have this as a Thursday. And we'll do that. Let's do 11 a.m. Sam's a little bit lazy. He doesn't like getting out of bed. But then we go 45 minutes. I can add a workout to this booking if I want to. I can just make it recurring. Alternatively, if I just go book activity, that is just going to be a session for me and my client. And only me and that client can see this booking. From a client side, they will be able to see all the events in your calendar and they will be able to book into those. However, um, when it just comes to a one-to-one -one session, that is just going to be for you and your client. So when it comes to buying sessions and credits from you, there's two options. They can either buy those in packages, so you can create that in a package, which hopefully in my other video I'll show you a little bit more detail about. Um, alternatively, if they're paying you outside of the software, Go to their profile, click on their profile, and under financials, you'll see sessions and credits. And this is where you can manually gift and manually um, deduct these sessions and credits. Um, so, guys, I hope that kind of gives you a good insight into the events and how it is that you can best use them. Um, thank you very much for joining me, and I hope the video helped.